Get attention on YouTube is about as tough as it can get. There are so many channels, it's hard to get reliable information on exactly how many there are. One estimate says 55 million, another says more than 100 million. Yeah, no matter what the real number is, the Buckley Report shows us one tonight that is determined to break through all the clutter with a theme no one else has tried. Adventure and exploration are my passion. Ten-year-old Troy Brock loves a challenge. Adventure awaits. So I wanted to create one, but not just a normal, regular, boring YouTube channel. When all was said and done, we drove through six states, visited two national parks, one national memorial, and one national historical site. I personally think it's super cool. I wanted to make it special so that, like, when people watch it, they get inspired and want to go camping. It doesn't hurt that Troy's dad, Tyler, is a former television news photojournalist who still has the itch. I mean, I'm always looking for a chance to grab a camera and tell a story. And Troy's grandfather is the pastor at a church in Liberty outside of Greensboro. And they all have great smiles, but you just kind of zoom in on Troy, don't you? He and his wife Stacy dote over all their grandchildren, but... What is it like when you get that first grandchild? Oh. It's amazing. <laughs> it is so exciting. It really is. Nearly perfect until that night two years ago. My phone rang and, you know, Tyler just said, Mom, we just found out that Troy has a brain tumor. Good, bad, wrong, right. When I hear the word cancer, you know, you think, well, that's a, a death sentence. Tyler had to let Troy know what he might be up against. One night, Daddy was, Daddy said that this is serious. Like, if we don't treat this, you could, you could die. And then I was like, and then it hit me, like, this is super serious. This is, this is bad. And you'll have to forgive the Brocks if they wonder why God has seen fit to visit this on them once again. Grandpa Travis's brother died of brain cancer in 2002. It was hard to lose my brother at the age of 41, but to watch a child, um, especially when it's your grandchild or, or your child, uh, it's, it's really difficult to watch. It doesn't take away from who God is, but it's, it's still, it's undeniable that it's difficult. Do you occasionally get angry at God for this? I, I'm past that. For me, I don't think it was so much anger um, as it was fear of what's to come. Fortunately, Troy's prognosis is very good. So good, in fact, that... And thanks to my friends at Make-A-Wish Foundation, I have been able to fulfill my passion of travel with my camper. Make-A-Wish provided the family with the camper that they've used to create the magic they post on Troy's YouTube channel, Camping with Cancer. The videos he makes with his dad are part science lesson. Water pressure builds underground. Part history class. The National Park Service was established in 1916. What his grandfather, the pastor, learned from it. Life is precious. Is a little bit deeper. Um, we only get one. The kid they've always called Troy Boy shows the faith he leans on on his t-shirts and is determined to provide material on his new YouTube channel to help other folks going through the same difficult journey. Once it gets going and Troy inspires other, other people, um, not just kids, uh, adults too, um, he'll, he'll realize that he has this cancer for a reason. Um, it may not be easy. But he does. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Spoken like a boy who believes he's stronger than any cancer. There are a few things that can slow me down. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. And September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so Troy hopes to do more videos to help raise awareness. His particular kind of cancer is called ganglioglioma, and he is doing so well. His team plans to stop treatments next month and keep an eye on him over the next 10 years or so.